Hello and welcome to our Rubank Elementary Book Series for the tuba. This series is for beginner tuba players, young tuba players, or anybody who just wants to get a little bit better on their fundamentals. Today we are on Lesson 15, page 17. We're now moving on to eighth rests, and today I want to talk about the biggest mistake that I see young tuba players make. Of course, it is a rhythm mistake because as tuba players, we need to have a solid sense of rhythm, and this one thing messes people up, and that is eighth rests. That's what all this page is about, and beginner tuba players players love to skip over rests and skip over eighth rests and everything. But if you're on the other side of the playing, you're the one listening to you play, it is impossible to follow along when you skip eighth rests. Now, if you're playing line one and the B phrase and you play that eighth rest correctly, bum, 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 that's great. It's metronomic and it's easy to follow. But if you mess up that eighth note, even just a fraction of the beat, it throws everything off. It can be bum, 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 Bum. And it's just kind of like, wait, whoa, whoa, what is what is going on there? Me as a listener or anybody else, your band director, your private lesson teacher, whoever might be listening to you, it is so obvious that something's wrong. And if you're in a band sense and you're not the only person they're listening to, there's a good chance that they would say, oh, you're rushing, you're dragging, but not anything more specific than that. And what's really happening is that you're completely rushing through the eighth rest. And now if you're told that you're dragging or you're rushing, you might think it's the notes that you're playing that's throwing you off, but that's not the case at all. It's the rests that you're not playing that is throwing you off. We need to make sure that everything in the phrase keeps the exact same tempo throughout. That just makes everybody's life a whole lot easier. Just for an example, I will play line two and I'll just move around a lot. I'll play around with the tempo and you can watch how hard it is to follow along. <laughs> Was I missing notes there? No, I didn't miss a single note. Was I playing around a lot? Those rests were off? Yes, those rests were absolutely off. And that's what you have to make sure of doing because if you're playing along with a metronome, that's not gonna line up well. And of course you should 100% be playing with a metronome as you work with these. Don't skip over these rests just because you think, oh, well, I, they get the point. It's about the notes. No, it is about the line. Play the line correctly and it'll make everybody happy. We will be playing this page at 80 beats per minute. Keep in mind that this is a C tuba, so my notes will be different than yours. My open fingering is C. Your open fingering is probably B flat, so don't rely on me for fingering. And of course, we will be doing no repeats. <laughs> Oh. 
So the moral of the story today is when you're told you're rushing, you're dragging, don't think it's always just about the notes that you're missing or rushing or dragging. It's also about the notes that you're not playing. The rests, those are some of the most important parts about keeping in time. And let me tell you, as tuba players, get used to it. We'll have to do a lot of that. These video lessons are great, but they don't replace one-on-one -on -one private lessons. If you would like to take private lessons with me, check the description down below. If you're not in my area, online private lessons are completely doable. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go make life musical, and I'll see you in the next one.